video called The Seven Deadly Sins is Genshin Impact YouTubers. Let's watch it quick. Lust, greed, gluttony, envy, and wrath. These are known as the seven deadly sins, and you'll find a lot of them in your day to day life. Today, let's <laughs> why, talk does, about why does bro sound like the Burger King foot fungus guy? The seven deadly sins as Genshin Impact content. There's also an eighth sin being a f mint picker. And creators. Alright, it's a disclaimer. I have nothing against any content creator brought up in this video, nor I have everything against every content creator in this video. Is this slander content? Let me phrase that even more. Everything I'm about to say for the next 10 minutes will be slander. I hate all of these people. Uh, yeah, I don't like any of them. I hate all of them. Unless you're extremely sensitive and receive it negatively. And speaking of extremely sensitive, let's start with the sin of pride. <laughs> The chronically online, extremely insensitive slime. It's like a f rap song, brother. Let's hear what he has to say. Enviosity is one of Genshin Impact's most well-known creators, amassing over 450,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 800,000 followers on Twitch. I love how people were saying that uh, when me and Envy had issues, I was bullying a smaller content creator, even though we have the exact same size of follow count. We're, we're the f are these people getting that Envy's a small content creator? Like, I mean, he used to be big. Like, what the f are these people on about, man? Doesn't followers on Twitch. Pride is known as an overinflated or excessive view of oneself, putting yourself on a pedestal or glazing your own self-importance to an extreme level. Which is crazy because I thought I would have got that one. And I can tell that I'm the sin of pride because I'm upset that I didn't get pride. I, I feel like Envy's not the sin of pride. I feel like he's just a bitch, right? Like, bro, how the f did he get the pride? That's the cool one. What did I get? Pride could be considered a form of delusion or extreme selfishness. And Viosity takes a lot of pride in his ability to be a content creator that remained free to play in a se Because he's the only mother who should be getting praised. Oh my god. Okay, so then I gotta be wrath then, right? I gotta be wrath. Heading where others do not. But he was also his own devil's advocate. Not only did he pride himself on not spending money, but he exhibits arrogance in making sure that everyone knows he's a free-to-play performing at a high level and claiming that he should be the only one receiving any praise for doing so. I should be the only mother getting praised. <laughs> Oh, the crazy thing is, it's such a cool line. I am the only mother who should be getting praised in this community. But the problem is, he sounds so soy. <laughs> he sounds so soy when he says it. It's like a little baby with a knife. It's insane, bro. Claiming that he should be the only one receiving any praise for doing so. I should be the only mother getting praise in the Genshin community because I don't spend money on Genshin Impact. Money talks, all right? Money talks. Be like me and stop spending money. It's crazy because he's not kidding. It's crazy because he's being real when he said that. That's not a joke. That's not a gimmick. That's him being a hundred percent. Like that shit is so embarrassing like holy shit bro that is one of the most embarrassing clips i've ever seen and the worst thing is that's in context that is a in context clip <laughs> and then here's more he blames me for him saying that because oh that wasn't me talking that was tectone talking acting like i sekiro shadow puppet jutsu him to say that good god that is so embarrassing bro that is so embarrassing. It's unbelievable. This clip will haunt him for the rest of his life because there's no additional context that you need for that clip. It's all there. It's all there. And trust me, I, I understand the damages that an out-of-context clip can uh, get you, but eventually it'll come around. Every clip that I have that looks bad has context to make it fine. This one, there's no context to ever justify it. It is the most cringe, soy take I've ever seen a gacha creator say. It's insane. For Enviosity, it's less about being a great free-to-play content creator and more about the praise and attention he receives for playing in that uh -huh. unconventional manner. Mm -hmm. Enviosity may have turned his pride into a shtick, and he may have worked hard to get to that point, but the same can't be said about- Wait. Pride into a shtick, and he may have- 8,694 slimes. What?
Does he have that many subs? When did he ever have that many subs? He has 700 now? He has 800? Wait, what the f***? I've never seen Envy have this many subs before. This was during the peak of his subathon? Oh, okay. Yeah, last time I saw him, he was at like six, 700 subs. I've worked hard to get to that point, but the same can't be said about this next content creator who embodies the sin of sloth. The Theodore A9, or Venti's new butler skin, is a content creator that's cracked 150,000 subscribers on YouTube, who? and in the content creation scene, they fit the sin of sloth well. The channel is fairly inactive now, and while it's likely unrelated, you could still attribute that to sloth. Sloth could be considered the most grave form of laziness, desiring the easy life, wanting others to do things for you or to an extreme level taking no accountability is it bad that i feel like a video like this could be made but all seven sins are just on me <laughs> let's all be real i feel like that's very scary because i can attribute every single one of these to me <laughs> oh i'm only human after all Dude, oh no. The Adore 9s videos are more or less video style recaps of patch notes or other easily accessible information. In fact, the Adore 9s viewers are also likely suffering from the sin of sloth themselves. These videos are typically painfully exaggerated or clickbaity, doing no more than telling you what you probably already know, but telling it to you in a way that makes you think you didn't already know it. And sometimes oh, the content shit. isn't just clickbait, but it's also just wrong. And what's lazier than lazy oh, content made shit. by someone too lazy to check their own work? We're better paid five star? But laziness aside, there's one content creator who's far from, as their overbearing thirsting is second to none. T okay, to what you guys will call a masturbation addiction, I call taking matters into my own hands. Oh, God. All right, let's just hear it, bro. Ectone is a content creator with close to 2 million followers on both Twitch and YouTube. He's known across the gacha game scene and more specifically the Genshin Impact community as unfiltered, argumentative, and a dickhead. But a <laughs> I take that last one with pride, to be honest. I like that shit. I don't know, it's good. It's good. It's good when people come to my stream and they know what they're going to get. I don't want anybody to think they're going to get some nice, wholesome mother... When they come in, and then some piece of shit in chat's being annoying. So I'm running them down. I'm running them down, right? Who are these people? Oh, yo, Pink looks good here. He looks great here. Where'd that sweater go? I haven't seen that in forever. That's Lauren, too. I know these women. Wait, why you pull up Lust for the video footage of me having two women in my room? What are you doing? A big thing Tectone is also known for is being a coomer. Lust can be defined as a deep longing and desire for something, and it can also be defined as an overwhelming longing for sexual pleasure. Genshin Impact is a waifu slash husbando collecting simulator, and Tectone has proven himself on multiple occasions to see nothing past the physical realm. Because what? Because wh I mean, wh what, dude? What's wrong with that? I, I pull for characters because they're hot. What's wrong with that? I like that. Eula has big ass. Bro, bro, some of the most popular Genshin Impact hentai videos are ones that I commissioned. You're welcome, by the way. You're welcome. Dude, dude, there's even hentai coming out for Honkai Star Rail where the creators themselves talk to me to get a good plot. Uh, you're welcome. You'll see them soon. You're welcome. I'm actually in several Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact uh, that people didn't notice because they were too busy looking at, I'm not going to say which characters are getting, but the characters are getting they don't see the cameo of me in the background. It's f***ed up, man. It's f***ed up. Good f***ing God have mercy. Have you seen Eula's thighs? Okay, I mean this genuine question. Okay, full, okay, dropping the character. Is that not what everybody else thinks too? Like when they see these characters, like, oh, they're so cute. Like are people not just starting jacking off immediately? I feel like that's what everybody thinks. Uh, that's what the point of these characters are. Am I nuts? His attraction to the characters of the game greatly overshadows every other aspect of it, and it's led him to making questionable comments and statements, as well as garnering him a lot of hate from the fans of the game. Hey, hey, I'll be real. If the Genshin Impact community doesn't like you, that's because you're doing something right. And I stand by that genuinely, respectfully. While it is fair to call a game higher to its full potential, some of the things aren't that big of issues, nor are they a necessity. And that is the sin of... <laughs> 
Yeah! Michael Test! Run him down, man! Greed. Greed is the desire and love for wealth or personal gain. It's an attachment to certain things, even if said things are a necessity. It's the state of always wanting more and never being satisfied. Yep, true. M Tash is a content creator with around 1.5 million followers combined on YouTube and Twitch. Yep. And while M Tash is on the more respected end of the community when compared to the others mentioned, he also has quite a lot of hate. I don't know about that, bro. I feel like everybody hates this mother. To be honest, I feel like M Tash, hot take. I think M Tash is way more hated than I am. But, but, M Tash does desperately try to get in people's good books i just don't i i think i think m tash is way more hated than me for sure haters m tash is generally regarded as a hypocrite in the genshin impact community by his haters as he initially took the whale approach to the game where he spent a lot of money to maximize his account's potential now there's nothing inherently wrong with that but once m tash got his fill of the whale content he then went on to complain about the game being yep. money hungry while profiting off of the artificial problem with the game that he instigated himself and once he left the whale account behind for a free-to-play account the complaining and desire for more never stopped but the sister sin of greed is gluttony and tenha fits that shoe gluttony being tenha wait i don't get this at all wait what did he do Tenha is a content creator that has amassed over 800,000 followers on YouTube and Twitch, and he's a fairly respectable person. However, Tenha is arguably one of the biggest consumers in the community. Gluttony is normally regarded as eating an excessive amount of food and drinks, or for lack- Is it because he's a fat- Lack of better word? Because he's a whale. Greediness, but gluttony could also just be considered an overconsumption of something. When people pull characters, they're typically pulling for one or two reasons waifu or husbando, and meta. But Tenha is an oddity in the sense that he pulls characters just for the heck of it. There seems to be no art to his madness. In any character oh, that drops, no, regardless he's a of fat whale, will be sought bro. out by Tenha. Oh, no, no amount of constellations, eidolons, or in game currency has ever been enough to satisfy Tenha as he consumes everything the game throws at him and then anxiously awaits <laughs> oh, no. more. His YouTube channel even exhibits this with his countless whaling videos and ways to get even the smallest amount of currency in game. And despite having very clear regrets in doing so, Tenha continues to consume everything the game drops. While it would be possible to find a sole content creator that fits this role, I think there are just too many in this community. Plen Who the f*** is this? of smaller content creators will envy what the larger ones possess and will choose to ride their coattails into the limelight. Envy is the longing and desire to have what someone else has. I thought envy was the mint picker. As it trumps personal needs and it clouds judgment. Envy creates unjust jealousy, bitterness, resentment, and even potential maliciousness towards another. Whether that means stoking drama, Jesus white Christ, bro, that, Seeing that guy's face is a jump scare to me, bro. Holy f what the f is that? or sticking your neck out into situations that don't even involve you. Envy is probably the sin done most subconsciously, and it's also the sin in the community done most commonly. And it's not exclusive to small creators either, as the bigger ones do it as well. People will always want more. That's a fact that'll always remain. True. And so the entire community is the sin of envy. As for the final True. sin, we've got the sin of wrath. And it may make them wrathful, but I believe Asian Guy Stream fits the bill. Hey, boys. You want to know why? You want to know why Atsu is the sin of wrath? Because you can't spell wrath without rat. <laughs> Perfect. Poetic justice, man. Good old Ratsu, bro. Let me phrase that. Piece of shit Ratsu. Just to make sure anybody doesn't get the sarcasm. Ratsu is a content creator with over 800,000 on Twitch and YouTube. Yep. Wrath can be defined simply as anger. Feelings of rage, hatred, or blind negativity. But most glaringly, Wrath is such a powerful sin that even once victory is achieved, the feeling doesn't go away for a wrathful person. And in that regard, I feel that Asian guy's stream or Ratsu represents a blind hatred. He's a creator with a ton of pull in the grand scheme of things and he's a creator whose anger never subsides even after winning. Despite the feel good content uploaded, Atsu has a history of drama with some other creators. Of course, in previous years Atsu had come out on top, but the hatred and anger he felt never went away, as even now, years later, he still holds resentment towards those he had problems with in the past. 
Wait, hold up, hold up. Let me, let's read. What is this? What is this conversation? Where did you learn from? I said. Where did you hear that I said chess respawn? Is something I said. You remember where? I wonder where I would have said that to give that impression because I've never thought that. No, I was being sarcastic. Oh, and during your comments, I was on record saying that. Monka S, are you sure they aren't memeing? Memeing is hard to tell over the internet when no emotions, emotion, emoticons, or hearing how people were saying it. That's a really good emo. What happened to our old Keck W? Wait, what happened to that emo? Do we still have that? Oh, the new one's better though. Oh, the new one's better. Okay, the new one's better. The new one is so cute. The new one is so cute. Oh, man. What happened to us, Atsu? We used to be such good friends. What happened, man? What happened? Such a truly sad story, bro. Such a truly sad story. But if there's things that you don't do on the internet, one of the biggest ones is don't go after someone's marriage. You just don't do that, bro. It truly is weird, man. Truly is weird. Problems within the past. Such and you certainly don't go after their best friends either. It's just weird. Anger has led him to developing an antagonistic outlook on others that effectively crushes their image because of how much swing he has in this community. Wrath leads to anger, delusion, and frustration. And I believe that Asian Guy Stream is now fully feeling the effects of wrath he refused to let go. Humility counters pride. Dil dude, dude. What a good video. <laughs> what what a good video this is. Legends counters sloth. Chastity encounters lust. Charity counters greed. Yep. Kindness counters envy. Temperance counters gluttony. And patience counters wrath. These are the seven heavenly virtues. And perhaps a video I'll have to take a shot at in the future. Again, no shade to any content creator. Also, ignore the monotone speaking voice I was using throughout the video. I was testing something, all right? I'll link every content creator brought up in the description below. Bro, bro, blazing. Great video, man. How many views does this have? Right. This only has 200 videos or 200, uh, 200 views. We'll get this to a thousand. We'll, we'll, we'll make this video blow up hundred percent. That's a, that's a good video, man. That's a great video and actually just like really fun too. I feel like if you get ass hurt from that video, ass hurt from that video, you're just a pussy. My opinion. I feel, I feel like you're just straight up a pussy. Uh, let me go through all this real quick. Uh, I need to take away this video before somebody else does it. Okay. Pride. That's me. Sloth. Okay. Pride is me because I'm the best creator on the platform. Uh, sloth is me because I only do lazy react videos. Lust is me because I can't stop jerking off. Wrath is me because anybody who me, I will never let go. Envy is me because if I ever see... Well, hold up. Envy. Okay, Envy's not me. I don't pick men. Uh, gluttony's me because I'm a fat... Uh, and greed is me. Okay, greed's not me. These five, though. These five, we get those. These five, we own. These five, we we take we take full recognition for. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, greed and Envy, though? No, 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 no. But the other five. The other, yeah, t yeah, exactly. The T for Tectone. Exactly. You're right. It's perfect. Yo, Blaisin, great video. Great video, man. Go give him a like, go give him a sub, and uh, appreciate you posting that shit, man. It's good. Anybody has an issue with that video, I will suplex them out of the window. That shit is so funny.